Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are four professors A, B, C, D. They taught for an integral number of years in three colleges X, Y, and Z. The total time spent in the three colleges together was distinct for all the four professors. The total time spent by the four professors together in <coughs> IIT X, IIT Y, and IIT Z was 12, 13, and 14 years respectively. No professor spent an equal number of years in any two colleges and no two professors spent an equal number of years in any college. Okay, so that is the condition given to us and each professor taught for at least one year in each college and some further information is also given to us. <coughs> so we will formulate this table. Now let us try to understand these different statements what they mean. This says that the total time spent in the three colleges together was distinct for all the four professors. So these values are unique for all these professors. Okay. Second thing that is given to us is total time spent by the four professors is x, y, z is 12, 13 and 14. So that means grand total is 39. Right? No professor spent an equal number of years in any two colleges. So that means if let us say A is the professor, he will spend unique, these all values are unique. So basically for A, all these values will be unique, for B also these values will be unique and so on. No two professors spent an equal number of years in any college. Now college wise also these have to be unique. So all these four values will be different. All these four values will be different. Now, some value can match like this. Like, for example, this value can be equal to this value. This value can be equal to this value. But row and column wise, the values have to be different. Okay. So, that is the condition given. Now, <clears throat> next thing that we are given is uh, each professor taught for at least one year. So, all these values are positive integers. Now, let us fill the information which is given to us. Among the three colleges, Daljeet spent the least time in IIT Y and the maximum time in IIT Z. So Daljeet spent least in IIT Y and maximum in IIT Z. The number of years spent by Anwar and Casper in IIT Z was 4 and 2 respectively. Anwar and Casper, 4 and 2 years. The total time spent in the three colleges together by Casper was more than that by Anwar. So Casper <clears throat> let us say spent total x years and Anwar spent y years. So x is greater than y. Okay. The total time spent by Badal in the three colleges together was 16 years. And the difference between the number of years spent by Anwar in IIT x and the number of years spent by Casper in IIT y was 2. So this difference is Anwar in x and this these difference is 2. Right. So Difference means any of these values can be larger, another will be smaller. Okay. Now, <clears throat> how do we go about finding these values? This is the only piece of information that we have. Now, let us understand one basic thing. This is 16. Okay. So, we are left with three values x, y, and let us say this is z. So, remaining three values add up to 23. Okay. Now, let us think of minimum number of years that are professor can spend in three colleges. Let us say a professor spends one year in one college, two years in another college, three years in another college. So minimum six a professor would spend, no less than six is possible. So let us <coughs> make 23. This 23 is using three unique numbers. So minimum if we take six, so then we will have to take minimum seven more because we cannot take six again. Six, seven, then we can have 10. So 23 is possible like this. Another possibility is if we take 6, 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 plus 9, 23. Okay, that is also possible. Now let us say we increase this 6. If we make it 6, 7, then we will have to have at least 8 and we will have to have at least 9 because these values are unique. Okay, this is not possible because that is giving us the total of 24. So we have just two possible cases either it is 6, 7, 10 or 6, 8, 9. Okay, now another thing that we need to consider is for Anwar, 
this z the value for z in iit z is 2 okay so minimum how much can anwar spend like let us say if i take 1 2 and 4 the minimum will be 7 if i can i so that means anwar cannot be this 6 this is not possible for anwar because minimum 7 it can be more than 7 also minimum is 6 okay minimum is 7 now Another person, it is given that x is greater than y. So y is minimum seven. So x has to be greater than seven. So either this is Anwar, and this is Casper. Because uh, if Anwar is seven, Casper has to be greater than seven, which is ten only. If Anwar is eight, Casper has to be nine. Now this gives us that Daljit will spend a total of six years because Casper has to be greater than Anwar, and Anwar minimum is seven years. Okay, so now this will help us fill this information. So Diljit has to spend total of six years. Now, if he has to spend a total of six years, that means six can be made only by one, two, three, only possibility. Now this is least, so it will be one year. This is maximum, so it has to be three years, and this will be two years. Okay, so one, two, three, total six. Now this is four plus two, six plus three, nine, and five, fourteen. Okay, now we have to consider x and y. So let us take two cases. Right? Let us take uh, eight and nine, and then we will take seven and ten uh, <clears throat> also. Okay, so any in any order we can take the possibilities. Now, uh, okay, so before taking eight or nine or seven, ten, let us think of what Anwar can spend here. Okay, so this difference is of two. Now let us try to make eight using seven and eight using four. So if we include four, if we make one and two, that will give us seven. If we make one and three, that will give us eight. So Anwar is either seven or eight. So Anwar, this four is already taken care of. So either it will be one two or it can be one three. Okay. Now let us say that Anwar spends three years. Okay. Now let us just assume that Anwar had a total of eight. Let us assume that it is eight, and this is nine. So let us start with three. So if we take three, one, four, which is not possible because one is already present here. So this possibility is not. Take a three, one, four is not possible. Now if we take one, three, four, so we are considering first that Anwar has a total of eight years. So if he has total eight years, then it is three, one, four or one, three, four. So if we put three, one, four, one, one is repeating. Now we will try one, three, four. So this means this is one. Okay, the difference is two, so it should be three. Now again, three and three are matching. So this case is not possible. If we take three one four, then one one will match. If we take one three four, and this will be three three, that will match with each other. So this case is not possible. So this means Anwar spent a total of seven years, and Casper spent a total of ten years. Okay. Now within seven also. There are two possibilities, like one two four or two one four. Now we know that two one four is not possible because one is already present here. So it means one has to come here. Now if it is one here, so the difference is two. This will be three. <coughs> okay, one two four total seven two five uh, five six, and we have to make it thirteen. So seven years here. Seven plus five twelve plus four. This gives us sixteen. And two three five five plus five. Ten years, so that makes. Now we can just verify the total. This is ten plus two, twelve, nine, twelve, thirteen, nine, and five, fourteen. So all totals match. So this is how we will find the number of years and complete this grid. Now the first question is, how many years did Badal spend at IIT Z? So Badal spent five years at IIT Z. What was the highest number of years spent by any professor in any of these colleges? The highest is seven. What was the total time spent in years by Casper in the three colleges altogether? So Casper spent a total of ten years. Who spent the least time in IIT X? So in IIT X, the least time is spent by Anwar. Which of the following is not the time spent by any of the professors in any of the colleges? Four, five, six, seven. Four is present. Five is present. Six. No one spent in any of the colleges. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.